up at 5, ready at 6. It's going to be a lot of steep uphill, but about 5 miles of uphill, 20-some thousand foot of elevation gain, 5 miles of downhill, another 20-some thousand miles of elevation loss. Mosquitoes are out in force this morning. wet up to my knees. What a way to start the day. Coming from that way, getting patches of snow, I haven't needed the spikes yet, and the trail leveled off a little bit so my time improved. I didn't look yet to see which one of those is the pass I'm going over. Every now and then I find a little piece of trail, but it's pretty, pretty rare. Just trying to make it up the best way I can. Coming from there, to the switch back. This big nope. So it looks like everybody's going right up there.
They post hole too. No, I'm not on trail. I think that this is better where the switchbacks are at. It looked pretty steep. And yeah, the snow's getting kind of slushy. It's, uh, yep, 10 o'clock. But it's easier to go downhill in slushy snow than it is to go uphill in slushy snow. And that way, some way. Yeah, that was a little nerve-wracking. I did not go save. You can see people come up with all kinds of ways down. But I think most of us settle on this gully to get down out of the snow. And just like that, I'm back on the trail. I'll try my best to stick to it. Looks like some of it has already melted off. Now that I'm not worried about sliding, you can appreciate just how pretty this is. Not bad. I was thirsty, so here's my water source. None of these are on the app, so I've been making waypoints. So hopefully they'll add them so that other hikers will know. It's about four and a half miles to the trailhead. Oh, marmot. Where is it? There it is. Anyway, about four and a half miles to the trailhead. Took my spikes off. I'm hoping it's a four and a half of dry trail and I'll just cruise and it'll only take me a couple of hours because it's a quarter till 11. I don't know how easy it'll be to get a hitch where I might walk down to a resort. Maybe they'll have Wi-Fi or something where I could call for a ride. That might be X-Man right there. How considerate. It looks like the water should be warm, but obviously it is not. I would have loved to have camped somewhere around down here. It's easy to get off trail. A lot of very confident looking footprints kept going down over that way. And then it looked like it got kind of steep 
And I looked at the map and the trail had made a right hand turn. But that's the trail going that way. Found the trail and lost it again. Didn't lose a lot of time because I was heading the right direction. See, a lot of what looks like tracks over there where people just kind of took the shortest route down. The trail goes like that. Looks fairly snow free. Well, except for this part right here. Other than this part right here and right there where it switches back, it looks fairly snow free. Well, and except for that part there, and this, that, and that over there, and I think I see a little bit more over there, it's been mostly snow free. Well, I'm gonna go over, it looks like the trail goes around, a little bridge, and then right along the lake. And any minute now, I will have hit the last of the snow. And this is gonna be a long video. First, I want you to see if you can tell how clear that is, I can see way deep in there. And then just the view of the trail along the lake. I'm sure my feet will get wet, but I'll get over it. And then the rocks. I've seen quite a few marmot, but not as many pika. So hopefully I'll see a pika today. I'm not complaining about the snow. This lake just has islands in it, and I think it's cool. And I'm coming from around there. Coming down from there. Going around there. I know you're tired of hearing about snow, but I'm coming down this way. And it looks like I'm doing switchbacks. And it looks pretty snow free. We'll see. I've got to be like a mile and a half from the trailhead. So it's got to quit eventually. Right? Doesn't really look as good as the clear blue lakes up higher up. Huh? But the trail's going that way. I've been pretty snow free. So I'm cruising, except for all the times I stop, get my camera out, and say, coming from this way. That is South Lake. And along it is South Lake Campground, where the trailhead is at. But I'm thirsty, so I'm going to grab some water. Plus, if I don't get a hitch, it might be a little while. Walk down the roadways. So I figure I'm about a half mile from it. North of here, north of South Lake, is North Lake. And way up there, that really long lake, that was called Long Lake. So whenever I was about a mile out, I stopped, made sure I put on deodorant, and it spritz a little smell good. Because you're always nice to day hikers. Because they might be leaving whenever you're trying to get a hitch. I just passed a couple of trail runners had dogs with them, dogs like me, almost followed me. Uh, and so it was good timing. Hopefully they didn't smell me before they saw me. And hopefully they're gonna be running back down about the time I'm trying to get uh, a hitch to town. You never know. There's more, that's a big lake. Alright, I made it. All I need to do is get on the road and hope one of these people leave and feel like picking up a stinky hiker. There's the lake. I've been looking. I haven't seen any bighorn yet. So, I'm heading down 
two cars went by already but I've built past other parking lots and if I make it all the way to the highway hopefully there'll be more traffic there it was maybe 15 minutes for some folks in an RV came by and picked me up just said where are you going said Bishop said hop in so after thinking about it so long what I was going to do now I need to figure out step one which probably get a hotel room or get some new pants but uh it's two o'clock in the afternoon so i've got time might go ahead and get something as first. usual gotta figure out what my first put, uh, order of business is going to be i think i'll think better if i have a diet coke in my hand and maybe a burger with a bunch of bacon on it Went a little bit cheaper this time. My legs are tired, but they're not so bad that I need a jacuzzi. And Arthur that I was going to share a room with never got back to me. So I got one with one bed. It's got a bathtub, microwave and fridge, everything I need. Now to run to Dollar Tree, get my spa treatment and see about getting a bucket of chicken. It's not a huge room, but it has everything in it. 